Oi, oi, oi. Okay, so I just want to do a quick, a quick little one here. I don't know I say that <laughs> every time, and it's and it's like an hour long. Not this time. This time it will be a quick little one. I don't I don't really have uh, a whole lot <laughs> to to say or or a need to really even to to talk at all. More than anything, I just want to express an appreciation, uh, a felt connection of communion with uh, with so many people right now, with with all of you guys I connect with, uh, physically, non-physically, uh, astrally, um, and and so many different dimensions. And, and modes of engagement and connection. And I wanted to give a shout out to to Skyhopper. I just I just watched this video of, of uh, the Stone Soup, which which was a kind of a. Uh, little response and reply here or uh, a, a building of, of uh, from in, from inspiration which is which is what we're doing here we're, we're inspiring each other and encouraging each other and also uh, constantly reminding each other of, of the truth within and yes we're going to have our uh, our highs and lows and, and our waves that we ride on but Whenever you can find people like this in your lives that have been through it, that <laughs> that that are, are just real motherfuckers, like 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 I say, like the, the real dudes, the real motherfuckers out here. Like they're not trying to sell you anything. They're they're just sharing themselves, and they they realize the. As within, so without, and the connection that's happening. I keep saying connection, but <laughs> that's what I'm feeling right now is is the the reunion of the communion. So, Paul Skyhopper, your your readings lately have been uh, absolutely dead on, like. Fucking perfect. Amazing. And I mean, and then I, I think, I, I have uh, I have to catch up on on your past several videos, and I'm looking forward to that. Because every time it's like, you, you put something out, it's like, I know. <laughs> I have to be in, in the right uh, state of receptivity. And, and I also... I, I want to be there because that's that's when this communion is, is allowed to happen and, and otherwise I'm just I'm gonna be too uh, caught up in different realms of engagement and, and not able to just sit with it and feel and be and connect So yeah, tonight I was in one of those states where I was just able to sit and chill and and feel, and that's that's when it's time for the sky hoppy. So Paul, you are a very amazing and beautiful person. I'm so grateful. Uh, to, to being communion with you and, and and all of you that I, that I connect with um, I am frog in a box Bobby very grateful for you and 
electric towel and divine hazel has been coming up in in a lot of my uh awarenesses lately it just it seems like <laughs> anywhere i go like oh there's divine hazel again so uh shout out to divine hazel as well and even from the get-go which the first time i saw divine hazel and, and like i said in previous videos like the the zen at man was kind of like just the catalyst for for a lot of us it seems like so uh, that's where I first encountered Divine Hazel. And just your name. Because I have like green hazel eyes. And I don't know. It was just a connection there for whatever reason. Like I felt something beyond just, you know, the name and the words and everything. There's an energy there that uh, feels familiar which is just the the theme of this you know uh, of, of all of this is uh reconnecting recommuning with the familiarity of uh the gnosis of the truth within all of us we've all done this deep inner work and <laughs> for me uh it's been uh and, and and that comes with the territory whenever you're doing deep inner work you have to you have to utilize uh, the hermit mode and go within for a time and that may be painful and lonely but that's what it takes at times you've got to go into those depths of the darkness so that you can remind yourself of who and what you really are and then spark that light and reignite your desire and your inspirations and your will remind yourself of, of what it's really all about people <laughs> And then also, uh, the woke ones, Megan, lots of, lots of love to you as well. You're an awesome person. I'm, I'm really, uh, really, really happy that, that you started putting yourself out there, uh, making videos, uh, based, ju just for you, like, it's, it's, it's a very healing process. That's this is what I, I've experienced. This is what you know. A lot of us keep talking about. It's like, well, we're not, we're not really out here to preach, uh, right? Uh, or, or teach even. It, it's just a sharing and uh, a healing process that happens, and we all kind of uh, interact and engage and re encourage each other with this. And we heal each other as well. As we are healing ourselves and doing this, we are uh, realizing what the self is and the connection of, of everyone. And let's see. Shout out to uh, Zigzag, Mr. <laughs> Intensity. I enjoy our, uh, our interactions and... Uh, our little uh, back and forths uh, talks, uh, just messages, basically. Uh, you you got you do got a lot of intensity for sure, but you also you know you you do the shit like you're not <laughs> you're definitely not you know all talk. You 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 walk what you talk, and I mean that's. That's what we got to do. We got to put it to the test. You know, we we can, and and that's how you know. Like whenever someone's uh, preaching or or being, you know, very t preachy or teachy, and you can just tell. Like I mean, this is just our system nowadays. You can just tell whenever people are regurgitating shit and they haven't tested it out for themselves. Like look look at look at all these doctors and <laughs> they want to they want to tell people what's wrong with them. But you know what what I always say is. Doctor, can you can you do me a favor and, and take off your shirt and look at yourself in a mirror and, and ask yourself the question, am I healthy? Do I look healthy? Do I feel healthy? But I mean, that's never going to happen because they can't get out of their heads enough to go into the feeling. And that's, that's where the problem is. We've been caught in the mental constructs and the mental games, the little traps and 
uh, snares that have been set up for us to get looped up in and disconnected from our body and from our gnosis. Interesting. Let's see who else. Danny Skylark, I always enjoy everything you put up. Very, very inspiring. Gets my mind in those, you know, states where I just want to flow and just allow the, uh, the wordsmith to happen and, and the poetry of life to just, to just flow and get out of, get out of your own fucking way in your mind and just allow the heart to just bubble up, you know, and bubble out and, and overpour. Our, our, we fill like those love cups up and it just pours forth. And you don't need to think about what's coming out because it doesn't even really matter. What matters is just that that love is being felt and shared and experienced and expressed. Oh, wow. Only 11 minutes. Yeah, time has been interesting lately. Uh, Mayan Jin, the genie, of course. Shout out to that cat. Let's see. Yeah, so... Hmm. I've been... I had some ideas thrown at me for some videos to be made, and I, I haven't forgot about y'all. Uh, so I got some ideas, and so I just need to make the videos and uh, and just allow it. But essentially, I mean, I don't I don't want to force anything, and then just like, oh, here's information for you, blah blah blah. No. <laughs> I just want to I want to I want to allow it to happen, and. Uh, have it feel like authentic as, as possible. And hopefully sometime uh, <laughs> sometime soon I uh, I do uh, some more tarot readings because I feel like a lot of us right now and just this the tarot in, in the divination uh, the oracle is calling and so we're able to really pick up on this and divine for ourselves the inner workings so here's a card I pulled just now for all of us or whoever <laughs> I don't know how much we can see of this it's earth You can't really see this card do well right now. It's grainy. It's a mama. I'll read what it has to say if I can see it. Key words. Feeling grounded. Appreciating the good things in life. Manifestation. And like I usually say with the stuff that I pull, like... It always speaks to me so, uh, so acutely that I often wonder if anyone else is really getting anything from it. Or if I'm just always constantly pull pulling for me. Which, essentially, I mean, you know, there's really only one of us out here, right? The element of Earth is associated with the concept of physical manifestation. Most ancient myths present the Earth as a warm, giving mother, able to support all of life through her creations. I'm sorry, I can barely see this right now. 
her bountiful plants and trees offer us shelter and food, allowing us to live comfortably in the physical world. As such, the earth symbolizes the feminine forces of fertility and stability. When the earth card appears in an oracle reading, look for opportunities to take your dreams and turn them into concrete reality. So yeah, this is dead on with uh, just the times right now, the feelings. A lot of the things I've been mentioning and saying, and then also uh, Skyhopper. A lot of the stuff you said in this video, like this, is stuff I've been either uh, typing or or saying to people on some level. So it's just really awesome to see, uh, to not only experience this uh, engagement with like-minded and like-hearted people, but to but to witness uh, the the, the beyond a crazy amount of synchronicities that happen. Um, having, having thoughts and then, and then having you guys <laughs> put them out there and say them and, and having that happen so quickly. It's, uh, it, it feels, it feels pretty awesome to experience this, uh, so much with you guys. So yeah, we'll keep this one short. That's it for now. I will I will put my face on camera again someday. I promise. <laughs> I want I want to show off my uh, some of my growth from my errors. My my beard's getting getting pretty pretty girthy. So I think I think I need to. Uh, Put that on display. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, it's just the hair is a very interesting thing, aren't they? So, yeah, anyway, lots of love to you all. Thank you for being who you are. Appreciate all the interactions I have with everyone. No, no, no matter if, if they're uh, a, a little fiery at times, or and, and especially if they're uh, misunderstood. And this is the thing with like communion and communication. Like the words, they can be very easily uh, misinterpreted, and misunderstood, and, and the intent behind them can be uh, taken. You know, in a way that maybe, maybe they they weren't you know coming at you like that, brah. And, and this is something that uh, is like a big part of in in my life is is constantly be, uh, having been uh, misunderstood and uh, misconceived. And so that's something I've had to come to terms with and, and let go of, essentially, and, and not be not be so reactionary to it whenever it happens. And I'm at a stage right now where it happens, and I get those emotions uh, happening inside. Um, but then I'm able to release them very quickly now, and that's that's something that I'm I'm uh, I'm happy that I can say <sighs> that happens now. So yeah, beyond the words, try to feel the situation out. Try to feel what's behind the words. Try to feel the intent. And it is very important to be try to be clear with your words, and, and that's not always easy sometimes, especially, you know, depending on 
uh, our inner state and modes that we're in. A lot of times the words just uh, come out as they do, and <laughs> it's not always uh, very clear. So it is important to try and uh, attune yourself and match that or strengthen that bridge between uh, mind and heart feeling and thought. But it's a process and this language is, is kind of set up to, uh, you know, Keep us confused, dazed and confused in this hazy maze. So yeah, much appreciation, much love to you all, and hope to see you soon.